What's up, YouTube? Um, Gary with Thick Skinned RC back today. Um, went ahead and picked up the new uh, SCX 10 2 Trail Haunt Show. Uh, it's another RTR. Um, I had a RTR Honcho that I picked up used, um, but I traded that for that Talion over there. Um, so. I was itching for another haunt show. I got a few of these in at the local hobby town and yeah, one thing led to another and here it is. So, um, so I can slide it out here pretty quick. Not gonna do too much of an unboxing, but um, I'm dropping stuff on the other side of the bench. Uh, there she is in all of her glory. Um, I, do, I do really like the haunt show look. Um, Eventually, you know, hopefully I can get a metal cage, but that'll be you know, a ways down the line. So yeah, it's supposed to have, uh, let me grab the box here again. We can kind of go over the basics on there. There are some new features on here. The uh, axle no longer has lockouts and the truss is integrated. Um, I can see some good sides and some bad sides to that design. It is more true to scale to what you'd see on a one-to-one, -one, but it does leave you uh, a little limited as far as upgrades and stuff. I mean, you can't just get a new truss. Um, it's going to have to be integrated, you know, no adding weight with lockouts, uh, with heavier lockouts. So. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how that is, but I do like that they are, you know, actually making some improvements and some uh, upgrades on the truck. It does also have, uh, where do they have it mentioned? I think it's on the other side. Um, yeah, it's over here. It does have the up, quote unquote, upgraded um, AE5L. It's got the light controller built in, but from my experience, the AE5 could barely handle any additional load over what it had f just from the, the factory motor. Um, I've had two of them burn out on me in relatively short order, so I'm not a big fan of the AE5. However, I could see that being handy for some people, um, save you from having to buy a light controller if you're just running a few or want to leave the basics on there. Um, most of the other stuff is still kind of the same. The transmitter, which we'll get out in a minute here, um, is a different model than what came with the kit and the RTR that I had before. Looks like it's the smaller one. Um, saves them a few bucks, I'm sure. Um, and I think it's only a two channel. I'm guessing by the name it's a two channel, but I'll have to verify that to be see for sure. It's a three channel receiver, obviously, um, by what's on there. So straight out of the box, uh, it's supposed to be a 12.3 inch wheelbase, but again, you know, with links, you can do whatever you want. Um, but apparently they have links for 11.4, 12 and 12.3 available, 12.3 already being on there. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at that stuff here. You know, it does feel slightly more damp, dampened than the uh, the other RTR uh, 10-2 that I had. Um, I don't know if they just put a heavier weight in there, different shock or different spring. Um, I don't think they changed the shocks at all on there. But uh, there it is. I think it's a good-looking truck. The tires, I, you know, for I, I don't think they're the you know the R compound um, axials R compound. They actually feel. Pretty good, uh, pretty grippy. Um, I'd say definitely better, grippier than the uh, Red Cat tires felt um, straight out of the box. Definitely look a bit smaller too, so probably a bit more to scale than the tires that came on the Gen 7. Um, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the truck. The big bumper, while I get what it's for, I mean, it's, it, it, it's a trail truck, trail, you know, it's a big trail bumper. I, I think for the crawling that I plan on doing, I'm definitely going to change that out. 
pretty quickly for something small or something with give me a better approach angle there um fits the you know a little bit closer in so here is the new axle and as you can see there's no lockouts here and let's grab now it's filthy I have admittedly not done any maintenance on it since the last time I took it out see a uh, side by side the two the thickest outside of the wheel is 11.9 and this is 15.8 so you're gaining about two millimeters of clearance on the bottom um, four millimeters all around but about two millimeters of clearance on the bottom so rough estimates um, obviously it looks like you do maybe lose a millimeter here on the bottom side where they added some to the truss um, so I think you might overall be losing a millimeter or two here and then gaining a millimeter to, or, you know, two millimeters out here. So it might be almost a wash, but well, let's see overall here. So you got 31.7 for that one. Make sure I'm getting right at the bottom of that. Okay, so 32. And this one, I'm getting the same. It's 32. That's the same. So, you're definitely losing a little bit here. But gaining a bit out here on the edges. Time will tell as far as durability. Um, you know, if they're both going to hold tight or not. But, um, yeah. I'm digging it so far. All right, so let's check out the transmitter here. I'm, you know, I don't know if y'all have seen this. They've got it in other you know, Habico rigs um as far as aesthetics go i'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite um but it is a bit lighter i hold it like this which is fine but if you're gonna try and hold it like this that's not gonna work um even if you want to do this because you got that blocking but um you know if it's as good as the full-size tactic the 300 um range and everything else uh, I'll, I'll be fine with it um it's a little wonky looking um then you get your obligatory stickers owner's manual um and it looks like a full set of spare links as well some extra lenses some gate markers some wire organizers spare tire holder um, so a smattering of normal stuff that Axial gives you. They're usually fairly generous with all the stuff that they give. So, and I talked about some of the cool stuff on it: um, the rear axle and the integrated lights, which you can see you get the two headlights and the two tail lights. Um, aside from that, it is going to have some of the you know, typical RTR issues, if you want to call them, uh, the plastic links. These really aren't all that flimsy. I mean, they're obviously not metal, um, but they're not terribly, terribly flimsy. Um, but at the end of the day, they're going to start getting scraped up and wear over time with flex. And they're gonna, you're going to want to replace those. Um, like I said, they do give you a couple extra. Looks like those are the rear. Yeah, looks like they give you a couple extra rear links and nothing for the front um steering link they did go a, a little bit more scale and it looks like it's 
know if that's actually hinged or if that is just for style. Um, but I don't know, it's kind of cool. Looks a little bit better than just plastic, straight plastic shaft on there. Um, you probably paint it up to make it look a little bit better until it gets all scratched up, <laughs> wears off. So um, on the inside, it's all gonna be pretty typical SCX-102 stuff. There's not uh, really much new as far as the way of layout or anything goes. You, you do have the new more scale uh, transmission, which, I mean, it's silver. Um, whatever. Um, a cool feature nonetheless, I guess. Uh, but the servos, again, tactic servos, I'm not a big fan of. I don't know if they've actually made this one all Metal Gear or not, or if it's like their other... Metal Gear servos where it has the plastic one in the middle. Um, I wouldn't expect this to last too long. It's another RTR part that I've been through three of these now. Um, and in two of them, it was the same thing that failed the middle center plastic gear. So yeah, I'm gonna take this thing out to a local crawl event here this Sunday, which I'll have some video of. Um, but yeah, I mean, initial impressions, you know, aside from the links, it, it's a, it's an SCX-10 too, um, with some a bit more scale features that um, are debatable one way or the other as to uh, whether they're good or bad. Um, I I am kind of digging the axle, the way it looks. It definitely looks a bit more scale than the old the old axle, but time will tell how durable it is, and you know if aftermarket can. Uh, can take advantage of it so appreciate y'all watching uh, remember hit that like and subscribe if you haven't and uh leave any comments tips suggestions complaints down in the uh down in the comment section i always want to hear what y'all have to say so thanks again guys